Hey guys, it's Kristen, and today I'm going to be talking about a new TV show I found on Netflix called Crazy Head. This is a British comedy, horror, supernatural, thriller type of show. This show comes from Misfits creator Howard Overman and definitely has that irreverent type of humor in it. If I had to compare it to some other shows, I would say this is like a Buffy the Vampire Slayer meets Misfits meets Sweet Vicious. It's about a girl named Amy, played by Cara Theobald, who is a bowling alley employee who learns that she's a seer, which means that she can see demons that have possessed people and she can fight them. And she at first thinks that she's going crazy because that does sound pretty crazy. But she meets a girl named Raquel, played by Susan Wacoma, who has the same ability. Then they end up teaming up and fighting demons together. Things kind of get chaotic as Amy's best friend Suzanne ends up getting possessed and they have to exercise her and from there it just gets crazier and crazier. Not only is this about two girls that are just kicking demon butt, but it's also about their friendship and them learning more about themselves. They find that they both have abilities that will help their demon hunting. They finally find out what the big bad is really up to and their friendship is one of the things that helps them come together and be more powerful and help them defeat this demon. The aesthetic of it is just something that's really cool and really appeals to me and I've seen this type of aesthetic in some other shows and movies lately and I've been really drawn to those. Nerve had a very similar aesthetic, Sweet Vicious has a similar aesthetic, and it's darker but has this bright neon blue type of vibe to it. The soundtrack is excellent. It's Jin Wigmore, L. King, Dusty Springfield, The Kills. There's a lot of great sounds in this that really complement the aesthetic of the show. Kind of like a sultry rock vibe that's just really cool and chill. There's a lot of comedy and just like goofy humor within this really dark story of demon hunting. It has this great ability to balance the dark and the light and I love that because it brings these other elements into a story instead of everything just being so super dark and serious it makes it a little bit more fun and we really get to see the two characters Amy and Raquel grow throughout the series from two people who don't really know each other or trust each other or even really know exactly what they're doing to experts in this field of demon hunting and friends who will support each other and be there for each other and keep each other safe. I had a lot of fun watching this show. It was very quick, only six episodes, so, you know, got through it very quickly, but it was really enjoyable, and there was so much going on. There was twists and turns every which way you went, finding out other things about these characters that maybe they didn't even know about themselves. And it looks like as we get towards the end of the series that a character that we thought was gone will come back, and our two main characters are going to be continuing fighting demons and stopping them. And I really think that this show could go on for another season or more. I feel like this was a really unique show and it was a lot of fun. I'm hoping it gets picked up for another season. I like when shows have short seasons like this. You know, six episodes, you get through it quickly, you want to see more. Have you guys checked out Crazy Head? Make sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click that subscribe button because I come out with new videos every week. See ya!